hello everyone um, so in this segment we are going to see uh, the general definitions of second and third normal form so in last uh, couple of section we talked about uh, the formal definitions of second normal form and third normal form all right so here we are going to see the summary of normal forms and we are going to see general definitions of second and third normal form and also with couple of example um, and at the end of this slide we are going to actually solve um, uh, two problems all right solve two problems uh, given a, a relation uh, given a relational schema we are going to find out first we are going to test that whether this schema is in um, normal forms in all of the normal form first we will check whether this is in first normal form then second then third normal form if they are not in normal form then we are going to normalize them okay all right so um the test for first normal form is simple the uh, first normal form actually only requires that uh, uh, in the relational schema every value will be atomic okay so every value will be atomic means for any attribute uh, for any attribute uh, for any attribute there is not going to be any composite value or any uh, like multi value okay so every uh, the value for each attribute is going to be atomic for uh, the relational schema okay and there will be uh, no nested relation so the only requirement is that no multi value attribute and no nested relation now the remedy or normalization so if our relational schema is not in any normal form then there is a remedy and the remedy means actually we are going to change our relational schema okay it may require uh, it may require actually decomposition okay decomposition means we may have to break one relation means one table into two tables so this uh, remedy is known as normalization so normalization means first we are going to test whether our relational schema in any specific normal form if not then we have to normalize the relational schema so in the normalization we may have to decompose the table into uh, decompose one tables into multiple tables especially actually we may have to decompose one table into two tables so if the table is not in first normal form uh, what actually we are going to do we are going to form new relations for each multi valued attribute and nested relation okay all right now the second normal form the general definition of second normal form actually how to test whether a relational schema is in second normal form first of all we are going to look at our primary key okay so if the primary key contains uh, multiple attributes then only there will be a possibility that our uh, relational schema may violate the second normal form but just remember it's it just a um, it's just a quick way to check that if our primary key uh, contents multiple attribute okay then do the test okay but if uh, only a single attribute okay then actually there is no possibility that there will be a violation of second normal form okay so we will know that there will be no violation all right so why is that because the second normal form says that in our relation um, in our relation no non key attribute should be fun uh, should be um, functional dependent on a part of the primary key okay so if there is multiple attribute only then there will be possibility that some non prime attribute is partially uh, functionally dependent on the primary key all right but if there is a single attribute means all the uh, non prime attribute are going to be fully functionally dependent on the primary key so if in your relation there is a if in our relation if the primary key contains multiple attribute only 
then there will be a possibility that uh, there could be a violation of second normal form okay but if there is only single attribute we do not have to actually test for the violation of second normal form all right so now let's see uh, if we have a primary key that contains multiple attribute okay so then we are going to test that every non key attribute should be functionally dependent uh, on the uh, on the each of the primary key okay so no non key attribute should be functionally dependent on part of the primary key all right so let's see an example if we have a uh, tables relation like r we have a primary key a b okay means a primary key contains more attribute uh, more than one attribute and let's say other attributes are c d e okay so these are our non prime attribute so each of the non prime attribute should be fully functional dependent on the primary key all right if there is a uh, if there is a non prime attribute which is only dependent on the part of the primary key that means it's a violation of second normal form for example say um, a determines sorry a determines the value c okay that means c only depends on a c doesn't depend on both a and b c only depends on a all right and uh, let's see b determines the value d okay that means the val uh, the non prime attribute d only depends on b all right d doesn't depend on both a and b okay so that means this is another violation of second normal form so why is that let's see an example um, if we look at the record of this table this relation uh, okay so we know a b is actually our primary key okay so a b is our primary key that's a composite primary key so let's see um, we can have actually multiple records uh, multiple records of the same record for a multiple same record for b okay but as this is the primary key we are going to have unique record for both of these attribute okay for example i can have a1 b b1 a1 say b2 okay a1 b3 and then a2 b1 so more record of b1 okay but uh, as a primary key we are going to have unique record for uh, a and b all right so that's fine but based on this functionally dependency you can see that a determines the value of c okay so for c we are going to have same record for each of the a1 right so a1 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 means we are going to have same record for here for attribute c okay because a uh, the value for a is same so the value for c will be same all right so same for d all right we i have multiple value of multiple record for b1 so for each of the record that b value is same we are going to have same record for each of the record right for d attribute so what that means that we are going to have some redundant information okay so because of this partially dependence we are going to have some redundant information okay so if we have redundant information there will be a possibility of anomaly all right so that's the idea we do not want any kind of redundant information we want to reduce as much as possible having the redundant information in our relation because redundancy means there will be this is going to increase the possibility of anomaly it could be insertion deletion or modification anomaly all right all right so this is the idea of second normal form if our primary key contains multiple attributes every non key attribute should be fully functionally dependent on the primary key if there is a non key attribute that is uh, functionally dependent only a part of the primary key that means it's a violation of second normal form all right so what is the remedy means how we can uh, normalize our 
tables uh, our tables so that there is no violation of second normal form okay so the idea is that we are going to decompose and set up a new relation for each partial key with it with its dependent attributes okay so i have a dependency with a and c and i have another dependency with b and d okay means i should have a table where i will have a and c and i will have a table where i will have b and d okay so you can see actually uh, this will be primary key this will be primary key and here you can see that c only depends on a all right that means it's a fully functionally dependent on primary key here d depends on b so that will be also fully functionally dependent on primary key okay now um the second step is that i have to we have to make sure to keep a relation with the original primary key and any attributes that are fully functionally dependent on it so let's see i have another attribute e okay where um e is fully functionally dependent on the primary key all right so that means i should i have to uh, have a tables where i will uh, uh, i will actually i will keep the relation with the original primary key okay i have to have a table where i will have the original primary key a and b okay now for all other non prime attribute that are fully functional dependent on the primary key that will be with this two primary key where in this relation where i have both of the primary keys okay so the decomposition here you can see i mean one relation might be decomposed into multiple relation okay so here the main idea is that i will uh, normalize so that in each of the decomposition i want to remedy that in each of the decomposition i cannot have the violation of second normal form okay so i will decompose it like that so that in each of the relation every non prime attribute should be fully functional dependent on the primary key okay so now i will look at the functional dependency all right and based on that i am going to decompose my relation so as c depends on a so i will have a, a relation where i will have c and only the primary key a i have uh, the functional dependency where d depends on b so i'll have a relation like that okay where i will have the primary key b and d now the original primary key is a and b so i have to have a relation where i will uh, store the original primary key okay like that a and b now all other non prime attribute that are fully functional dependent on uh, both of these primary key okay so i will i am going to uh, store them store all of them in this relation okay so now let's talk about the third normal form so in the third normal form the first way i have to check that the um, uh, relation is in second normal form okay then uh, i have to check that the relation should not have a non key attribute uh, that is functionally determined by another non key attribute okay so if i have a non key attribute that is functionally determined by another non key attribute means there is a transitive dependency of a non key attribute on the primary key okay and that means there is a violation of third normal form so the idea of third normal form is that let's see i have a table okay i have a relation so a b is primary key okay so all other attributes c d e f all right so let's see uh, this is uh, first of all uh, i have to make sure that it uh, satisfy 2nf second normal form okay means all other non prime attribute these are all non prime attribute they are fully functional dependent on the primary key okay all right now any non prime attribute 
cannot be determined by another non-prime attribute. I cannot have a functionally dependency like that. For example, D determines the uh, attribute value F. Okay. I cannot have a functional dependency like that. Okay. So every non-prime attribute should be determined only by the primary key attribute. Okay. All right. So A, B are like sorry here i do not need them a b determines f this is um, uh, allowable but another non-prime attribute is determining the value of another non-prime attribute this is not allowed okay this is not a good design why is that let me uh, let us give you an let me give you an example by giving some record okay with some record so uh, these uh, table records will look like that as d determines the value of f okay and d is a non prime attribute means there can be there is a possibility of having multiple records of this attribute okay and now if this is uh, if uh, there can be multiple records of this attribute there will be actually multiple records of the attribute f okay for each of the attrib attribute that has the same record for d so let's see d1 have value f1 and d this this one d1 will also have value f1 this will also have the same value f1 so wherever i will have the value d1 there will be i will have the value for f i will have the same value for f attribute so what do i see here i am seeing the redundancy right so i'm here seeing the redundancy so because of this redundancy as we are saying redundant information is not actually uh, give us a good database design because as much as redundancy we have there will be a high chance of high possibility of having anomaly okay so that's why we are not going to allow to have a non-prime attribute uh, a functionally being a functionally dependent on another non-prime attribute okay if we have a non-prime attribute functionally dependent on another non-prime attribute there will be uh, the possibility of having transitive dependency because this non-prime attribute is obviously uh, functionally dependent on the primary key right so obviously as a b is the primary key a b will determine the value d right and d determines the value f so that means a b determines the value f okay uh, i mean um a b is the primary key so a b also determines the value of all non-prime attributes so a b determines the value f but here we can see that a b determines the value d d determines f and a b determines f so that is the transitive dependency from a b to f and in the middle we have a d which is a non-prime attribute all right and that will be a violation of third normal form now what happens if we have third normal form means we have to normalize our relation and how to do the normalization we are going to decompose and set up a relation that includes the non-prime attribute that functionally determines other non-key attributes okay so what we are going to do we are going to decompose this table like So we are going to decompose the table so that there is no third normal form. Uh, there is no violation of third normal form. So here if we have A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So here uh, this is uh, the reason of having transitive dependency. Because uh, we have a non-key attribute which is dependent uh, which is determined by another non-key attribute now f is determined by d 
okay so i am going to actually decompose this relation like that so that i have a relation where i will have the attribute d and f okay the reason is that because f is determined by d all right so that d will be the primary key okay and as f is determined by d all right so i will keep them in a separate relation now what will happen in our last example we talked about that uh, for each uh, value uh, for each same value similar value uh, duplicate for each similar value of d attribute we are going to have similar value for f attribute so instead of this redundancy in this decomposition i can have only one uh, record for d1 and i can have only one record for f1 right so that's how i can reduce the redundant value of for f attribute okay and now what we are going to do we are going to decompose this table we are going to keep all other attribute in this table including d okay so in this table we are going to have a b c d and e so um, we are assuming that in this relation in this relation there is no other transitive dependency okay so there is no other transitive dependency if there is other transitive dependency we have to decompose it more for example if there is other transitive dependency like that okay means i have to decompose this table again one more time okay so in this dependency again i have to decompose this table like that by keeping c and e in a separate relation where c will be the primary key okay because e, d, e is depends on c i mean e is determined by c so c will be the primary key and then here i will have all other attribute a b okay c and d all right where a and b is the primary key all right so the final relation from this table from this table this was our initial r okay and at the end of this decomposition uh, i had these two um, transitive dependency the final uh, decomposition i will get r1 r2 and r3 okay so we are going to decompose and set up a relation that includes non k attributes that functionally determines other non k attribute okay so these are this is the idea of uh, uh, by testing whether a our relational schema is in the normal form if not then we are going to normalize our relational schema all right and we are going to decompose it accordingly all right